you are welcome to my channel we are continuing with topic 6 which is performance management and performance appraisal so in this video we are going to be looking at the principles of performance management or performance appraisal the things that you're supposed to follow the rules that you're supposed to follow as you're designing your performance management system or as you're carrying out performance appraisal yeah so the first principle we have is strategic congruency as you're carrying out performance appraisal, you have to make sure that it's aligned to and designed to support the strategic goals of the organization. Strategic goals are the long-term goals of the organization. Yeah. So as you're, as you're designing the performance management system, it should be in line with the goals that the organization wants to achieve in a long run. Yeah. Another objective is fairness. Fairness, as you're carrying out performance appraisal is supposed to be impartial and reasonable you're not supposed to be biased because may, may, maybe you you do not like someone personally and you decide to even put it into work when when you're carrying out performance appraisal you're supposed to be fair and assess all the employees if possible not to just assess some and leave out some just because you have a connection with them yeah. So as you're carrying out performance appraisal, you're supposed to be fair. Yeah. And the next principle is transparency. The process shall be as open as possible, giving room for explaining the reasons for actions and inactions. As you're carrying out performance appraisal, you're supposed to be transparent. You're supposed to be open. Just in case they ask you to explain what happened, why you chose some worker as the best worker of the year you can explain not not just because you have a strong connection with them and all that so as you're carrying out performance appraisal you're supposed to be transparent then another another principle is objectivity decisions on performance of an appraisal appraises the person that appraising an employee shall be based on facts rather than opinions you are not supposed to appraise based on your emotions, feelings, attitude, or intuition. Yeah, like may maybe you just say that I feel like this worker is the best worker of the year. When you when it's not based on facts, you don't have reasons for that, but you just trust your intuition and be like, I feel like this work is the best work of the year. You're being subjective, which is not nice yeah so as you're carrying out performance appraisal you're supposed to be objective yeah another principle is uh, openness and participation the process must be open and inter interactive to allow for the full participation of the appraisal you must be open as you're carrying out performance appraisal you interact with the appraisal with the person that you're appraising the employees yeah then another principle is acceptability all parties must be sensitized so that they accept the process as beneficial you you must inform the strategic members the operational members and the taking core members about the appraisal so there must be acceptability by all parties in the organization and then discriminant validity you should identify effective and in ineffective performance yeah you, you you should be able to differentiate between good and bad performance of the workers and lastly is inclusiveness it should cover all the employees you should not just cover some and leave out some so it should be inclusive and those are the principles of performance appraisal or performance management yeah, we have a strategic congruency, fairness, transparency, objectivity, openness and participation, acceptability, discriminant validity, and lastly, inclusiveness. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends, and uh, you can join and become a member of the Nash Academy by tapping on the blue button down there and you subscribe to any of the package that you would love to. Yeah, thanks for watching.